Hello everyone and welcome to something else that's a little bit different. This is Star Trek Bridge Commander. I know, I'm a massive nerd. Um, I suggest we do the same, Captain. Uh, sure. Um, so yes, this is an old game, which is why I'm recording it in 800 by 600 I can, because it's modded. So I can actually record it in a much higher resolution, but uh, I checked back the recording, well the test recording that I did, and it was flickery as hell. So by recording it in windowed mode rather than full screen, uh, this means that I can record it without any issue. Um, but it does mean the resolution is lower. So anyway, this is one of the more famous ships of the Star Trek universe. This is Galaxy Class. We are... Uh, I can't read what the registry is. Not important. Let's head inside. So this is the interior of the Galaxy Class. Now this is modded, so I can get up and walk around. Or not. Okay, yes, so, let us do this, so yeah, we can move around, it's, uh, it's not really the easiest, because uh, I can't hold the key down for some reason, it's a wee bit odd, but yes, uh, I can walk around the galaxy class, uh, we are probably going to spend most of the time sitting anyway, so with the walk thing not working, we'll just head back over to my chair and take a blonk. Right, yes, so we have first officer here who Chief. can issues, uh, issue Your orders, sir? various commands. Uh, science officers behind us. We've got the engineer. And then we have navigation and combat operations. So, um, yeah, so I'm using the Kobayashi Maru mod, uh, which is a massive massive overhaul uh, it adds so much stuff <laughs> um, and yes one of the things it adds is a Your feature orders, Captain? to do this separation so um, the galaxy class isn't the only thing that you can s um, separate out I have weapons turned on, I forget. So, yes, uh, we are in the star drive section. Uh, no, sorry, we're in the saucer section. Star drive section is behind us. Um, and yes, um, the, this is the galaxy class, which can obviously do that. The other one that I know off the top of my head is the Prometheus class, which can um, separate into yes, three sir? pieces, not two. Cancel red alert. So yeah, we've got the various alerts. You've got yourself the green alert, which is, uh, it's easy to show if I got here. Shields off, weapons off. You've got yellow alert. Yellow alert, shields up. Which, as it says, brings the shields up. And then... Red alert. That famous noise. Cancel red alert. Okay, yes, so Captain? cancel, let us um, reintegrate the sections of our spa ship. Our shields are buckling, sir. Yeah, uh, that happens because basically um, uh, just programming difficulties with doing the separation reintegration into yes, one Captain. part. Um, okay, so yes, yeah, so you can do damage reports and things. You can abandon ships, set self-destruct if you really want to. Uh, I'm in sit down mode, yeah, that's fine. Um, abandoned ship, do 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 code ejection, so um, if you watch the Star Trek series, you'll know uh, that core ejection can be a thing. I think you can actually recover it once it's ejected, but I'm not going to try. Yes, Captain. Uh, I don't think... No, you can't do Your anything orders, interesting. Um... Okay. So yeah, these guys are pretty much stock, except for a few things which I don't really use. Science, I can't remember what Your science orders, do. Captain. Oh yes, so science can launch ships. Uh, that's something that's been added. It's pretty cool. You can also teleport to ships, which is pretty cool. So you can get target and then get on board. So we have, um, let's see, 
shuttle. We've got 12 shuttles. We have more than that, don't we? How do I switch between them again? Launch? Nope. Shields are at 15%. Yeah, and they'll come back. Okay, because normally you can click to uh, change the shuttle type. Maybe this thing only has one kind. But anyway, we'll return the shuttle that was was launched. Yes, Captain. So yes, if I wanted to, you can actually um, launch a shuttle. Yes, Captain. Let's just check that shuttle. Yeah, uh, if I wanted, we could actually uh, launch. Actually, how did I... Yeah, okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> uh, you can launch a shuttle and then beam into it. Um... Oh, why are we so fast? Let's, let's put us to idle temperature. Yeah, idle temperature? What the F am I on about? Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's pop on back inside. So yes, uh, we can launch yes, shuttles. Captain. We only seem to have the one kind. I'm sure that's. I'm sure the galaxy because um, it's never brought up in the uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation. But of course the. Uh, oh yeah, phasers. I forgot about that. Uh, the galaxy class is actually a carrier type. Um, well, spaceship. Um, it, it, how did I unselect the damn thing? Yeah, so, um... Commander? Target is out of torpedo range. Oh, shit, son. I didn't mean to... Let's, uh, let's find out how we <laughs> select a, a target. Why well, now? Uh... Miscellaneous, is it, I guess? Score window. Clear target. Control T. Okay, here we go. Right, so... Um, in the next generation, you only ever see two shuttle bays used. You see shuttle bay two and three, um, which are here in the star drive section. But actually, there is a massive hangar. Um, shuttle section one is basically a huge flight deck that has um, a kind of pilot's area in the middle, and it's two floors of hangar, and then there's actually ramps just about here, which take you down into a kind of uh, maintenance level, where uh, shuttles are repaired and things. So, uh, again, it's never really touched upon in the series, but it, it this is a carrier ship. So, um... Why are you red alert? Cancel red alert. Uh, okay, so that's Captain. the stuff that the science officer can do. Um, yes, Captain? Engineering officer is probably one of the more interesting things because, um, one, you need it because he's the only person who can repair stuff. You can launch mines. Silent running is basically a way of... Um, uh, kind of curbing the output of the ship to make us not be detected by normal systems. Engineering teams report main power is offline. There we go. So, ship goes into this mode, and then if I go outside, you can see that we've got all the lights off, and we're not doing anything. We have basic impulse engines on, and that allows us to be mostly Your orders, Captain? undetected. So, end silent running. Engineering teams report main power is back online. So, we can open and close plasma vents and all that kind of noise. Right! Um, that's fine. So, cancel red alert. Let's get on to something interesting, shall we? So, we have arrived. We're at Betelgeuse, which is a star that exists. It is a humongous. Uh, red giant star whose surface is very unstable. If we were actually this close in real life, it wouldn't have a perfect circular shape. It would actually be oscillating kind of in waves violently. The star itself is so big um, that the, the surface is just unstable. Um, and it could even, the instability is so bad it can actually even be seen in telescopes. Which is quite interesting, but enough Nicely of a sign. Done. We made it through that one without a scratch. We didn't make it through anything, you bellend. Um, I was hoping to show off a feature of Kobayashi Maru, which um, I can't really show. Unless, uh, let me just... Uh, da -da 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 helm. Orbit planet. We've got Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse 1. Cerna. Hello. Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Hey. 
Okay, so one of the things that um, this mod adds is as you fly around, uh, I, normally when you're in, this is quick battle mode, um, you can't really do very much in a vanilla game. Um, you can literally set up uh, your location and then set up some opponents and blah, blah 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 whereas in the Kobayashi Maru version you can actually warp from system to system and encounter other things which might be hostile one You're of the things that we can do is uh, send a distress call and that's interesting because it alerts um, people to your position not always friendly so you do sometimes you can end up with more of a battle in your hands by calling for distress which is just another little quirk. Um, one of the things it does is when you spawn into s various systems, um, it will give you kind of various targets, sometimes friendly, sometimes neutral, sometimes... Uh, Entering standard orbit. Sometimes enemy. So you can kind of get a natural yes, battle rather than anything else. However, that's not the case here. So we are going to set something up ourselves. All right, we're here, and we have contact. So this is basically oh crap. Red alert, shields up. Weapons. Orders, Captain. Uh, target at will, fire at will, destroy the ship. Your right. orders, sir. Destroy it quickly. Phasers to 100%. So basically, this is a Federation flotilla um, consisting of the Galaxy class, which I'm flying. Um, our Cruisers, the Akiras, and then our support ship, the Miranda, versus the Warbird and two Raptors. Seem to be not be doing too badly. One of the Raptors has already got hull breach. Falling back for an attack round. Warbird shields are holding. Target the Raptor. Sweeping through phaser arcs. So the Raptor is technically... Uh, the Warbird is uh, quite a famous ship in the uh, next generation. Um, the Raptor is basically supposed to be the level below the Warbird. But I don't really think that gets mentioned. But it looks like we are going to win this. <laughs> quite easy. So we're engaging the Warbird. Sir, we are draining the top shield. So basically, our weapons officer is just going to switch target. Whoa! Oh, They've got an engine down. breach. Sir. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Uh, so we're just getting close into attack range. Sweeping through phaser arcs. Bottom shields failed. Sorry, the top shields failed. We're coming from the top. The Kier is firing a missile salvo. Target hull integrity at 25%. Falling back for an attack run. Woo! That's it. We got him. And their hell's gone. Cancel red alert. Okay, so that was a little bit easier than Your planned. Order, sir? Uh, so let's uh, let's make that a little bit more challenging for ourselves. Right. Okay. So we have a full fleet of Romulans. We have two warbirds, two raptors. Red alert. Shields up. Yes, uh, Captain. MVAM. Uh, star drive. Separate. Go. So we're going to split. And we're being targeted now. Okay. okay Destroy. Target at will. So we're engaging a raptor and we're just the star drive section this time. Uh, let's out a little bit. So we are, we're against two warbirds, two raptors and four light attack aircraft of the Romulan Empire. Our front shield is in danger of collapsing. We have hull damage. Whoa! Warbird had warp core breach. Yes. A sources tech section is taking some damage. Shield is draining, sir. 
shields are at 75%. Uh, engage it. Your orders, Captain? Damage. Your orders, Captain? Okay, lost the torpedo Our tubes. Are draining their right shield. Yeah, you'll bring this up to repair. Miranda class has taken some heavy damage, so that's our support craft. The two Akiras are under pressure. Um, wow, looks like the Akira's got shield failure. Destroy it! Engaging to destroy, Captain. Okay, Falcons are coming and going. So we we need to be careful about going to a direct assault because of our front shield. Full phaser salvo. Okay. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Good. Their ventral and dorsal shields are starting to collapse. We do have a uh, Photon salvo on the way. Let's change photon type. Oh, we can't. Uh, we, can we lost one of the Akiras. Target hull integrity at 75%. Targeting this. One of the Falcons has had hull breach. Lining up forward torpedo. Sir, we are draining their top shield. It's on. So we're doing sweeping through face parts. So forward torpedo torpedo salvo has gone. That's so going to be some good things actually, I think. That one might do the trick. Yep, I'll fail you. So they've breached. That's it. We got them. Alright. Okay. Um, Van Menu, reintegrate. So we got everybody. Tractor beam has been disabled, Captain. Yeah. We've got a lot of damage, so let's head back inside. Captain? Um, yeah, so you, you can see the kind of thing that, <laughs> that goes on here. So we lost one ship in that battle. Orders, we sir. lost the uh, one of the Akira class, which was one of our supporting cruisers. Whoa! I don't know what the F this was. I never used that before. Uh, yeah, so one of the Akira classes was lost. But we won. So it seems the Romulans aren't putting up Your much order, of a challenge, sir? so let's uh let's try and let's try something else. Right! Let's do this! Yes, sir. And bomb. Uh, star drive separate. Go. So we're against the Klingon Empire this time. Uh, you, yes, sir. target at will. Destroy. Ah, oh, crap! Yes, we got torpedoes. Ow! <laughs> well, that didn't last long, did it? <laughs> Shit, son. Ah, crap. Right, okay. Red alert, shields up. So, the last thing for today. Uh, uh, where are you? MVAM. Separate. Star drive. Go. So, we are in our flotilla, except we're against four Romulan warbirds now, so I have to destroy Just target at will. So, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Probably not well. However, one of the warbirds is taking damage already. See, the Akira classes are weak, but um, because of their weapon pods, they can they can do a lot of torpedo damage. Their 
bottom shield is draining. So. We're targeting the Warbird. Sweeping through uh, let's just rocks. get rid of this. Crap! Our saucer section got destroyed. Torpedoes heading in towards us. Oh crap! We've just taken a full south. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. We need to evade. I think that's what he's doing. Sweeping through phaser arms. Okay, let's head back inside. Yes, sir. Uh, hull. Rolling yeah, okay, you're already doing the hull thing. Crap. Our hull integrity is at 50%. Which is crap. More damage. Lining up forward torpedo tubes. Race to abandon ship. The thing is, once your shields are down, if they get a direct hit, the war or crap. The beam has been disabled. Now. Abandon. That's a friendly target, sir. Holding position. So we did indeed lose. No warp core failure. Damn, son. Okay, um, let's Your take over is. this. Get on board. Yeah, okay, here it go. I'm confused as to what's happening. Oh, I think we've just joined something that's blown up. The ship has been yep. <laughs> Ending simulation. Her dirty dirt. All right. Okay. Well, that was a spectacular failure. It seems that we can't target uh, multiple of these. Oh, hey, the walk command is working this time, which means I can do this. Great. Okay, so I can actually walk around properly, which is pretty cool. I can run as well. So yes, uh, this is Star Trek Bridge Commander. Personally, this is a game that I've wanted to replay for quite a while. This was me just digging around in the quick battle mode. However, there is a story mode as well. So I'm going to put this up just now for Star Trek fans and people who like me playing various different games. Um, and I'll see where I want to take it. Um, I don't know if I'll just keep doing random scenarios. Um, if I'll explore around the place or if I'll do to the story missions. I'll probably do a bit of both to be honest. That probably makes the most sense. So yes, uh, thank you very much. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much for joining me in this uh, first episode of Star Trek Bridge Commander. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching! Bye!